Hello, and welcome to the Chief Genesis, and welcome to our draft analysis for a new league, the MLBA Season 3. Um, Inner Peak is entering its final couple of weeks. Uh, we just battled a Gleam the other day, so uh, we got, what, three more battles and then playoffs, which I'm pretty sure I'm guaranteed for already. So uh these will be going like back to back a bit overlapping a bit but we'll be fine i mean uh the upload date is tuesday which is different than the usual sunday i do so it'll be interesting uh we do have this slot open in a upload schedule at the current moment so that's fine um going going into the draft i was like middle of the pack I think I was like six six overall six or seventh um and I think I got a decent team uh not the best considering there's like broken uh stuff like uh Genesect Mega Metagross Protean and Battle One Grim Aegislash Nakanadal that sort of stuff so uh it's, Let's hop straight into our first pick. We have Malar, or Malar, the Tapu Bulu. Uh, all of my nicknames are of Dungeons and Dragons lore. Um, Dungeons and Dragons deities. So, uh, my Tapu Bulu's name, Malar, uh, known as the Beast Lord, is the Lesser deity to hunt, evil lycanthropes, beastal savagery, and bloodlust. Which I think fits Papa Bulu pretty well. <laughs> Considering, look at that monstrous attack. 130. That thing hit, hitting like a truck with its stab. Uh, sadly, it doesn't get something like player off to abuse fairy. But Grass Surge is also really good. Powering up Grass Surge and weakening certain... Uh, ground type moves. Some of the cool techs I can run. Uh, brick break or no? Yeah, brick break. You get something like brick break for like uh, a screen team. I can run like CM. I can run bulk up. Uh, Nature's madness is always really cool. Uh, Sub seed could be really nice. You get C bomb, which is interesting. Don't know why I'd really run that. Considering. Oh, doesn't Horn Leech. Horn Leech is a bit worse, but maybe we'll find a few use for Seed Bomb. Uh, Brutal Swing could be an interesting thing. Uh, Dual Chop. Some interesting attacks I can run with Mulu. I have used Mulu in USL before, but I don't think I gotta really explore the full potential on top of Mulu. And Double Blue didn't really fit our USL team the greatest. I think we sort of build around this. Yo, it gets Leaf Edge. Leaf Edge? Lit. Snarl. Smart Strike. Z Sunny Day. Some cool, pretty cool text I can run with this Pokemon. Um, its ability to Grassy Surge. Uh, really good. Uh, its speed stat is a bit off-putting like 75 is not a great speed tier but i think i can make it work i think they drafted pretty well around blue and it is our first z move user um as you can see um moving on the draft got back around to us and we got heat trend now everyone's just like blue trend is the wave and i'm like boy let me test that out <laughs> um so yeah, Blue Train is a new thing to me, and I wanted to see if I could pull it off. Uh, Heatran, everyone says Heatran's not good unless it's paired with Blue. Um, also people were like berating me, they were telling me, why don't you put Z-Move on Heatran? Uh, we will see why. Um, but Heatran gets some cool things, like, it can, I can run it myriad ways. Uh, rocks, uh, defensive, taunt lead, etc., 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 offensive 
can run basically both offenses decently. Um, also, the nickname Kosuth, or uh, Kosuth, um, the Lord of Flames, uh, he's the primordial uh, of elemental fire. So, yeah. Fire! Scary. <laughs> Uh, Tabu Bulu is also pretty defensive, which I I love, 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 love defensive Pokemon. Give me a Munchlax, give me a Registeel, I will love that Pokemon, cause it eats hits and can set up if it wants. I love that. Um, so I think I like Heatran. We'll find out. Um, next up on the roster, we've got. Kiro Black, the boy, is back. Uh. <laughs> so, um, people are going to be asking, you, I thought you were to draft the Pokemon. Why is Kiro Black here? Um. So, that was originally supposed to be a Hydreigon, but Hydreigon got sniped, and I was just like, yo, Cube, my baby? Let's go. Um. Basically, the lore behind, or. Usually I name my Kira Black Zero, um, but since we're doing a D and D theme, um, I named it All Real or the Cold Goddess, Frost Maiden, Ice Dawn, Goddess of Winter, so on. Um, but Kira Black is my child. <laughs> um, I remember IPU season three. I ran Scarf every single week. Just because it was that good and people didn't really have counters to that. Like, okay, you switch in your fairy type, I'll go double into my Mega Scizor. Like, bro, Kira Black is insane. And with the addition of Z moves, bro! <laughs> yes, I did make Kira Black one of my Z move users because I love, love, love this Pokemon. Um, it's our fastest Pokemon currently, I believe. Which. It's not great. <laughs> so far, his team is pretty slow. But, um, Monstrous 170 attack stat. Um, it, it stab. <laughs> free shock. But, uh, like, Z free shock could be amazing. Fusion bolt. Uh, screens, right? Yeah, it gets screens. Um, boost, right? Yeah. So, boost of toxic, stuff like that. Um, Good special move pool that it can maybe abuse because 120 special attack is not bad, and I can bring some cool cool things with this Pokemon. Uh, yo, Dragon Rage! <laughs> Wait, <laughs> um, yeah, something. Uh, I remember DPL. I all through the playhouse, I just brought like Z Hail, Z Rain, because they're. It actually had like a use, like crippled certain Pokemon, like Z Rain crippled the Darmanitan, so I could actually, uh, so it wasn't a problem. Although, kinda made for Alligator a problem, but it's it's Yuchi. Um, I just see some really cool thing Texas thing gets now. Um, I'm gonna have to save these texts though. I'm gonna have to bring this up with my front office with some of these texts. <laughs> Oh my, this is gonna be fun. Um, <coughs> so, yeah, Kira Black is bulky. It's decently fast. It hits like a truck. I think it pairs well with the mods I have so far. Like, I have my Dragon Steel Fairy Core already, and it's a really good one too. And uh, Kira Black's Earth Power isn't uh, weakened through Grassy Crane, which is really nice. Uh, Next up, we got, uh, how do I pronounce this? Cyric? Yeah, Cyric. Um, the, the Lord of Three Crowns, the Mad God and the Prince of Lies, basically. So, um, Strife and Lies. Yeah, uh, Reuniclus. I have, so far I've used all but one of these Pokemon <laughs> before, but... Rubiclus is one of those mods that I've liked, but haven't, like, loved to the point where I'll draft it over and over again. But I have liked it. For some reason, it's bulky, it hits like a truck, and 
get uh we can do a myriad of things like uh, trick room is a good tech I can run. Um physical. Watch out, watch out for that physical realicless. And it also gets two good abilities, magic guard and regenerator. Um overcoat if I wanna run that versus like a sand team. <laughs> if I but that would be really weird. Um I'll figure I might find uh, I might find a use for that, but it's, just, it's a pretty good mod. P -p -p pretty good. Uh, yeah, like uh, Acid Armor Combine. I know that's a set that uh is hard to beat. Knock Off actually is would be really good. Uh, it doesn't get both screens actually. It does get both screens, so now I have two screens, uh, which is actually really good. Um, it is slow. My team is slow. I get it. Uh, but it is bulky, and I love bulk. Bulk is. I love balance slash semi stall. Maybe a bit of bulky offense, but I like Reno Close. Reno Close is a good bond. Um, it's always been like tier 2 and it's always been like too expensive because there are better psychic types usually like Cress but this hit was on the board I liked it and it pairs well like fighting resist for Heatran and Cube and stuff like that <coughs> uh, moving on we got Ardry 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 Airdrie. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, the Queen of, of the Avril. So, how much is a fast Pokemon, right? I have used this Pokemon in WCDL Season 2, and it's actually done quite well. It did pretty well, and I have a, I have a Papu to pair it with now, which is really nice. Um, Grass is the Lucha can actually be really, really clean. Get Swords Dance to boost its attack. I have Agility Pass. It gets Defog, which is interesting. It has some cool attacks like Encore, which I ran versus Killua, I believe, in WCBO. It gets stuff like Heal Sky Attack. Oh, wait, <laughs> U Turn. Looks like I think these usually a heal flying crafts. That could be interesting. Um, Steel wing for fairies, although it has poison gem. Uh, Z Z weather could be interesting. Oh wait, no, uh, bleh. <laughs> Not a Z move user. <laughs> um, bulk up could be interesting. Defog. I don't know if I've already said that. P-Jab and Iron Head for Fairies, Power Up Punch, Roost, um, I could just really even run the standard set, Sub SD with Dual Stabs for Citrus, something like that, that could be actually really good, um, sorry by the way, I have a cold or something, and my nose is stuffy, so, you might have to just deal with it, uh, you we will have to deal with it, I'm sorry. Um, so next up, we picked up our water type to finish off, when, yeah, finish off our fire water grass. And this was one I haven't used before. Uh, CB was, or I think, who was it? I think it was either CB, I think it was CB that said, uh, suggested technically. Because I said I needed Rapidsman. And I needed a decently fast and bulky water. And CB was just like tactical. I was just like, yo, lit. <laughs> um. Uh, oh. So, tactical Elbeth, right? Elbeth. Elbeth or Elbeth? Um, the Great Goddess or Mother Garden of Groves? Or uh, Lake Spirit? Uh, basically the Garden, Guardian of Water. Yeah. Um, Tentacruel gets some really, really cool stuff, like, Rain Dish, Z, Z Rain, uh, Cube with Rain Dish, Tentacruel, get it off my text, 
Uh, liquid ooze is probably what I'm going to probably be running a lot. Maybe even clear body versus like a sticky one team. Um, gets a lot of cool moves though. Uh, magic coat, uh, gleam. He's wow. It gets hex. Crazy. Um, it gets reflect, but not light screen. Sad. Uh, guts knock off. Skull, the best move of the game. Toxic spike against rabbit spin. So I'm a spinner. I have like seven defoggers already. Because everything in this game gets defog now. And I can run some really cool techs like acid and you wait no action pressure you did. Uh Aqua Ring, Aqua Ring Black Soul just will never die. Icy Wind to your Mega Drain? Lit. Is this like you actually Mega Drain? No. Sad. Um Yeah, but that base one hundred speed helps me a lot. It gives me a base one hundred speed mod. And it's pretty spinet. <coughs> For like algo fairies. This is like along with each other is a fairy counter. So far we're actually pretty uh earthquake weak. I just noticed that now. So um it's not gonna get better from here. I don't think it will. So I thought that was I thought this girl was a pretty good one to pick up. Like water poison, interesting type of and it's decently fast. Next up is the Mega no one ever picks. No one. Ever. <laughs> Mega Manette. <laughs> we got Besh. Beshaba. Beshaba. Besh. B. Shaba. Lady Doom. Might be calling that just calling her Lady Doom. Uh, I don't know why no one ever picks up. Uh, this mega banette because this thing has some uh, cool things like CB brought what was it? Call mine con guard versus me <laughs> WCBL. Um, it's Willow, it gets Thunder Wave, Toxic, Trick, Prankster Trick Room. Interesting, I don't know how that works. Um, Call mine con guard, it, uh, it's got a really good attack set too. 165. I don't know if there's any way I can really boost it, but 75 base speed is basically where our team will lie for now. Uh, its special attack is pretty usable, but I think the reason why people don't like Mega Manette is because uh, its speed, I guess. I mean, it can be so bulky, it might be able to boost its deck. I really don't know. I'd have to check later. Um, I want to get through this draft analysis and like do stuff. So next up, uh, yeah, I covered all of the We have Corlong, and I, yes, I did spell it wrong. Don't bash me in the comments. Uh, basically, the uh, Corlong is the patron god of all elves. Now, why, why, why did I choose Venomoth to be a Z movie there over Heatran? Well, what, sir, what good sir is taking a plus one bug buzz, Z bug buzz, from this thing? Besides a Heatran, which I already have. Nothing, I repeat, nothing is taking a Z bug buzz at plus one. Basically, I haven't done calcs, but that it's so powerful. Uh, tinted lens, lit. Um, quiver dance. It gets uh, it gets defog like every other Pokemon. In this freaking game. Uh, yo, leech life, physical, physical Venomoth. <laughs> I'm running it. In one week, I gotta run it. Um, it gets U turn for like Switch Initiative, Sleep Powder, Quiver Dance, Stuns for Tailwind, the Toxic Spikes, uh, Whirlwind. Does it get. Uh, it gets Refresh. Does it get Dual Screen, though? That is the true mark of the Pokemon. And it doesn't! 
but it gets some great coverage like psychic, flying, grass, stab. It's really all you need, to be honest. Uh, it gets ghost coverage too. Yo, ominous wind. Let's get it. Um, teleport. It also gets dragon stab, which would be interesting. Uh, what we. Uh, anything else really? Infestation? Uh, uh, yeah, this thing could be interesting. I have so I already have a clean tech in mind for this thing. Um, for the later weeks. So, yeah, um, Z Moves user, this thing is going to wreck shop, my dude. I honestly think this one will obviously be one of my best Pokemon in this league. Uh, next up, we have the Patron God of All Dwarves, Mr. Uh, Moradin. And why, why, why did I make Rhydon a single user <laughs> over Heatran? <laughs> well, good sir, you might. Well, good sir, as you type your comment into the comment box, uh, look at Rhydon's move pool. Water, ice, normal, fighting, dark, dragon, ground, fire, fire, I don't know I said that, uh, ice, if I have ever, oh, I already said that, bug, poison, rock, Ghost, have I proved my point? Electric, have I proved my point yet? It even gets back coverage. But this thing could be amazing. Slap a slap trick room, trick room team. Slap a Z move onto this thing. Blown back. Um, it even gets curse, so I can boost my attack if I so felt like it. Ha! Huh. I laugh at you. More than laughs at you. With your petty uh, comments. <laughs> um, I'm having fun with this. This this is already really fun. Um, but yeah. Uh, so long that I can use my trick room. Defensive mod. His death mod that pairs decently well with Tentacruel, Rearicless, uh, Heatran, Blue, Garum, Everything is offensive. <laughs> and we're just gonna keep adding bulk because our next pick is Autono. Regular Autono. Um LaRue. LaRue. Um The Unicorn Queen. Yes. Uh now why, you might ask. Did I get an Autono? Well, this thing gave me so much trouble in WCBL Season 2 versus Vish that I was just like, hey, why not see how much I can annoy my opponents with it? Um, this thing is bulky. It 60 for offensives is not bad for a wall. People are just like, uh, whenever I talk about Mega Auto, people are just like, I'm just like, yo, 80, is it 80? I think it's 80. I'm just like, 80, um, you know, stat is not bad for a wall. And they're just like, it is never good in a stat. <coughs> <coughs> but for a wall, it's actually pretty good. Um, it gets a bunch of coverage that I'm not going to list off because that would take a while. Um, uh, yo, trick room? <laughs> wow. Um, reflect, light screen, knock off. Uh, wish, protect, toxic, yeah. You get the gist. This thing is a stall Pokemon, and I'm going to love it. Now, we have five points left in our draft, and we have two picks left. Now, you might ask, whatever did I pick, pick up? Did I pick up a Wobbuffet? Because I love being that kind of person. Did I pick up a Munchlax? Did I... Draft a Simiseer or something. Well, you're all wrong. 
I drafted a new striker for four points. Now, I didn't need an electric type. We have Talos, the god of storms. Uh, 116 speed is actually really nice. Our speed tiers are decent. Keyword is decent, not good, decent. Um, I've always wanted to try Zone Striker for like the longest time. <coughs> um, because it's always been a mod that like interests me with its uh like speed and like offensive stat or like interesting. Um, it gets a decent move pool. Like overheat, bolt switch, thunderbolt, uh, wild, uh, what else? Agility, yo, uh, light screen doesn't get reflect. What is with all these Pokemon that don't get get one screen but not the other? Um, something like Signal Beam could be a good tech versus like Celebi. Low kick could be interesting. Flame Charge, uh, be first lit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's really it. Zimbabwe doesn't have a great move pool, but I wanted to try this thing out for the longest time because a it's a fast electric, it's a budget fast electric, and I wanted to see like what budget fast electrics I could get because you know drafting Jolteon and Raikou all the time it was it's a bit boring. And now last but not certainly not least, certainly the best Pokemon in a draft. Is it a Munchlax? No. No. It is. A Whooper! Mr. No Arms is here! Um, it is our last Pokemon. It is our last Z-Move user. This is a meme pick, though. <laughs> Literally just a meme pick. Um, Sylvanas, did I go over Zep Strike? Yeah, tell us the battle strike. Sylvanas is the forest father, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Weeper, though, Weeper is mean. It could do some interesting things, though. If it got rocks, I'd honestly like this Pokemon a lot on the team, but it's not going to be really doing much. I just got it, and it was just like, yo, this could be an interesting thing. And much less just three points, which makes me sad. But I have high hopes for this Weeper. I have high hopes for my team, and I really wanted it to work out. Um, I'm not going to say anything about Wooper because if I ever bring it, I want it to be a surprise on the text I could bring, which I don't know yet. So, going over our Z Move users, we have Kabu Bulu, uh, Pure and Black, uh, Venomoth Rhydon, and Wooper. And our team is here. The Jacksonville Jolteon's MLBA Season 3 team. We go in to that finals and we win in our third. Actually, it'll probably be our fourth, depending on our third or fourth league ever. So, um, hope you all liked this draft uh, analysis. Uh, comment and subscribe really helps our channel. Don't support, you know, good luck. And follow your Jacksonville Jolteons through our MLBA Season 3 run. Yeah, run. Bye.